Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful May 4th. I think today is what? Uh, May the 4th be with you day, I believe. So, you know what? Here's what we're going to do after this quick video. And then we're going to do another live stream in about, what, 10 minutes after that. I think this is great for using my force tamper. Okay, we're going to make some coffee with a force tamper. I think it's the right fitting for it. Okay. Okay, today's, today's live streaming. So this is the most impressive, the Bravo Brista, the ad I ever seen in my life, okay? Such an amazing job they did. Uh, it's called Bravo Brista Express Impress Introduction. So I'm going to share that with you, this quick video. It's not quick though, okay? It's not quick, but I'm going to skip through some couple of uh, sections there, so we can move fast forward, but yeah, let me show you this. This is quite impressive. I think you guys might hopefully enjoy this quick video. Hold on, let me flip the camera. There we go. This is a new ad from Bravo. Okay, there we go. I don't think that great tasting coffee should be limited to a cafe. To enjoy third wave specialty coffee at home, all you need is to follow the four keys formula. But let's talk more about that later. Introducing our assisted tamp manual espresso machine, the Barista Express Impress. Okay, so this is the like new version of the Bravo Barista Express. Just like what, what, what we have here. So this is the Express. They're gonna add the impressed version of it, which means they're gonna. Uh, he's gonna explain to you. I don't know what that guy's name is, but so just like this one, but a little twist. All right, let's move back. Less mess, less fuss with the impressed puck system. Time to unbox. But first, let's set the mood. Man, how cool is that, guys? This is amazing. Not bad. Not bad? Ah, that's better. Lay the box on its side and use the flap to slide the machine out. You'll find a box of accessories that all have a part to play. You'll also find a useful tray that can be used to store accessories. Okay, just like, so this one is just like the Bravo Vista Express. Uh, identical accessories such as filter baskets, burr brush, or cleaning tools. Right. Now let's wash all the parts and accessories and dry thoroughly before use. The machine has reached the correct operating temperature. The one cup and two cup buttons along. Okay, so right here. So we new one machine has a so this part is a brand new. Okay, so that is the, the impressed portion of it. Obviously, they give you the temping level, temping pressure there. So that's the same as before, similar, okay? Similar setup, but uh, so you still have the gauge, the temping, so that is the new. So, so, so that's the new portion. All right, so let's moving on. With the power button, will illuminate. The machine is now in standby mode. Okay. Now the machine is set up, you're ready to make your first coffee. Even the best espresso machine won't make amazing coffee without the right beans. So let's talk to an expert to get the inside scoop. Paul Geshas of Mecca is a professional coffee roaster. So let's ask him what to look for to enjoy third wave specialty coffee. <laughs> It starts with freshness, but you don't want too fresh. Coffee beans are at their peak flavor from about five to 30 days out of roast. Immediately after being roasted, coffee releases CO2, so you- Grind size settings. Okay, so the they have 25 you to grinder size. The grind size. For your desired extraction and flavor outcome. Sorry. We recommend starting on size 16, then adjusting as required, depending on your coffee beans. Press the dose button to start grinding. Here's where the magic of the Impress Puck system 
comes in. So, so this is it, guys. So this is what you guys are paying for. The tamp light indicator will flash. Push the tamp lever downwards until you hear a beep. Pushing the lever slowly and consistently will help to improve the puck appearance. This action tamps the coffee grinds in the portafilter using a consistent 10 kilograms tamp force to create an even coffee puck. The tamp is finished off with a barista twist. There we go. The that, that's the one right there. To clean off yep. excess grinds and to polish the puck surface. Complete another tamp action for an extra polished puck surface. Release the lever slowly upwards to the home position after tamping. The dose level indicator provides feedback on your tamp. The smiley face is the ideal tamp level and the right amount of coffee grinds in the portafilter. This is the... Okay. I, I, think, I think you guys got the points, okay? I hope you guys got the point there of this new machine is going to coming out. Uh, comes to, man, there's a pretty awesome presentation, I thought. I thought they did a pretty good job with the video. And the fact is, uh, this just come out in Australia, uh, New Zealand or Australia. I'm not quite sure where, but uh, definitely not in U.S. Okay, definitely not in U.S. But it looks pretty good. Okay, looks really nice. So again, just like Bravo Barista Express, you know what, personally, I don't know about you guys, but yeah, let me know in the comment section. Is that you guys enjoy using the, the uh, automatic temper thing? Not, not even automatic, some like manual, but do that for you. If you're using, goodness, if you're using single dose, I mean, I, I, I prefer using the manual mode. I don't know, is that worth extra money? I believe so. Bravo Barista Express was well, six ninety nine. Okay, five ninety nine, six ninety nine. De depend on when you purchase. Uh, depend on the sales price. Uh, sometimes you got a coupon code as well, so ended up being around six hundred. And the Bravo Barista Pro, you are looking at around eight hundred dollars. I believe uh, the Impress. I mean, they're trying to shoot for around thousand dollar mark there. So yeah. So thousand dollars. Gonna uh, if you like to do WDT, the Wayne mentioned about the WDT. Yeah, uh, you cannot do WDT. Uh, I think you might. Okay, I, I bet you. I'm not sure because put it in here. Once you got the dose timed up, take it up. Maybe uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean. I'm pretty impressed with the advertisement. Okay. I'm uh, pretty impressed with the advertisement, but comes to, yeah, can you, uh, I'm not sure. Okay. All right, hold on. Uh, Robert say, yeah, I mean, I, I, Robert, I see your post. Okay. Yep. Yeah, built in temper. Yeah, so it's not a built, it is built in temper, but you gotta do the press though. I mean, if you are using same bean every single time, you can set it, okay? You can set it and they're, they're pretty close. But if you, that, if you are the person that changes the beans all the time, like myself, man, it can be, it can be tricky, all right? I think I'm not a big fan of. So who's this machine is for? Man, the Bravo is... So Bravo Orco line, they're, uh, they're pretty much 90% fully automatic. Uh, so not close to super automatic, but uh, they're pretty close to automatic for the Orco version. They have the automatic temp as well as they have the automatic uh, the milk frothing as well. They run you about, about 2,500 bucks. Yeah. And, but this one, man. If a Bravo sent me to review on this one, I, I definitely I'm gonna take it. Okay, I'm gonna definitely review that. But again, the only thing difference is that just the temping portion. They're same machine. Uh, they give you 25 different settings instead of a 16, so you're gonna have more room to find, adjust the grinder size. But other than that, I mean, is that worth extra 400 bucks? 
I don't know. You guys tell me, okay? Lo I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. But if your coffee is your hobby, I mean, I want something manual. You know, I guess I'll, yeah, I, I want something manual. If you um, spend extra money, a few bucks, and get the dual boiler, like Richard say, yeah. Oh, one thing is, here, here's a big uh, selling point. Uh, comes with the nine bar pressure, okay? Uh, so that's nine bar machine, not the 14 bar like Brista Express. So they're like nine bar machine like Pro. So they actually, they fixed that issue. Yeah, so, so that's pretty good. And then uh, the robber mentioned about the probably cost them extra. You know, the robber is working really hard to try to upsell this machine. Because, I mean, this is machine has been around for a long time. So they're trying to come up with the like Pro. You got the Touch, now Impress. Pretty much the same internal configuration. I'm telling you, I mean, I've been using uh, Express for years and this thing, I know some people think that this is appliance. It is somewhat appliance, but man, works amazing, okay? Works great. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, Saint asked, when was the last time they updated the Express? Uh, I, no, they never update this. I mean, that's pretty much the same machine, but they come off the new model. Okay, we got the Pro, we got the Touch, now we have the Impress. Yeah. Uh, comes with a 54 millimeter. Uh, still 54. Uh, dual boiler is 58. So that one is about 1500 bucks. Cost you about $1,500. Uh, I think, what else? I think we are pretty good. I, again, the, the, I mean, check out the ads. It's pretty fun. Okay, fun to watch. Uh, I'm so A60s and A70s. I mean, that depend on the way you are in the world. I think. Okay, they got the XL model as well, but they're pretty much the same. Okay, so shout out to Ender. The uh, Tesla is making the espresso machine now. Yeah, Tesla is into everything. Okay, I saw they are making the bicycle I saw a scooter as well yeah they're making everything <clears throat> okay Damian mentioned about hopefully this one her crema coffee sales gadget there 50 okay interesting uh, pro still the best value you know I have to say pro is great the one thing I don't like about the Pro is that they're using the thermal jet, so you have no time. There's, there's no way to heat up your grip head. But other than that, I mean, you, you just do some couple dummy shots, you are good to go. But yeah, the yeah, Pro is, I think, if I'm going to buy my one machine right now, spend under $1,000, I think I'll buy the Pro. Okay. Okay, got shout out. Yeah, we got Yala. Man, we got some new people on this mo uh, this afternoon there. We got Danny's on, Yuki's on. I assume Yuki's from Japan. Okay, Bianca. Yeah, Bianca. Anyway, oh, I think we are pretty good. Okay. What is the machine? Yes, this is a uh, Bianca. A great machine. So, you know what? Uh, let me... Wrap it up here and then I'll be back in about 10 minutes, okay? So let's make some coffee using the force temper. Okay, today is May 4th, the force be with you. So I got my force temper here. So let's make a, you know, let's make something, okay? Let's make some coffee with force temper. All right, see you guys in about 10 minutes.